how's your life right now? You happy? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I work and I live in Vegas, which is the best place to live. Not because of gambling. I'm not a casino gambler, regardless of what people think. You know, I bet on sports. I mean, I'm 78 years old, so if if I wouldn't have bet on the, the, the basketball game uh, tonight, which I'm not going to because I'm here, and I want to go home and watch it, what's the big deal? Who am I hurting? Nobody. Nope. Uh, but, but you're like, uh, I, I, you, you bet on sports? I sh- not, you better not say yeah, because I, if you no, do, do, you're doing it illegally. No, I do. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm, uh, I can't lie. My wife How knows. many people listen to me talk right now bet on the Super Bowl? Oh, thank that, you. Thank you. 100%. Um, do you think you ever get your day at the Hall of Fame? No. You think you ever get your day where you get a chance to sit in a broadcast booth again? No. And, and be at a spring, I, I, or be at a spring training? You know what, Chris? Listen to this. What bothers you most of all? Here, here's Not, what bothers me. Here's what bothers training? me. Here's what bothers me. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I played uh, 19 years for the Cincinnati Reds. I got every record that the Reds have. They play on Pete Rose Way today, okay? They play on Pete Rose Way today. I have never been in the clubhouse or the batting cage at the new ballpark. I'm not allowed. Figure that one out. You're going to tell me that I can't help some young Cincinnati Red player by working with him in the batting cage? So that bothers you more than anything Yeah, it does. It does. It really does. Did the meeting... Here's why it does. Because in the last four years, they had Pete Rose bobblehead night sold out. They had Pete Rose Hall of Fame sold out. They had Pete Rose number retirement sold out. They had people, uh, Pete Rose's jersey retirement sold out. So when they needed me to sell the stadium out four times... Oh, they need you at the All-Star game when they they need you then. Sold out. I'm allowed on the field. Other than that, I'm not. A, I I even had to pay to watch my son play in, with the Cincinnati Reds. I I wasn't allowed to go on the pass list. What am I, John Dillinger here? They quit. They put you on the. I'm pass the best. I'm the best ambassador baseball has today, okay? Because I'm the only guy, to my knowledge, maybe I'm wrong. I'm the only former baseball player that's in the public four and a half hours a day, twenty days a month, talking positive about the game of baseball. And as you know, you have, you can be negative about the game of baseball today oh, sure for the can. last five, six, seven, eight years. If you want to be negative about it, you can, and it's Home justified. Home runs, strikeouts, everything. And, te- and the tennis is down. Yeah, four, four years Listen to this one. You won't believe this quote. You might have this quote. You get everything here with these duds back here working for you, okay? Last week, we got a new team in Vegas, a AAA team. In Las Vegas, they build them a new stadium, holds 10,000 people. They're averaging 9,800 people a game, okay? As of last week, the Miami Marlins are averaging 9,300. Yeah, it's a joke. It's, uh, the, the Florida baseball is a mess. So you are upset. This still bothers you. Yeah, the sure ballpark, it was. Because I can help baseball. being involved, spring training, that bothers you more than a whole thing? Yeah, because I, I'm not going to get on your show, Chris, and, and, and complain about the Hall of Fame because I screwed up. I made the mistake. Okay, it's in the book. I made the mistake. So why am I going to get on your show and whine to people? I'm willing to go on with my life, but there's some people who want to live in the past. Life's too damn short yeah, to I, worry about things. And they need you, they call you. They, put they that... need me, they call me. Yeah. But now they're, now they're out of need with me, Bench, Morgan, and Perez. We all had our numbers retired. We all got in the Reds Hall of Fame. We all got statues, and we all had our jerseys retired. So there's the only well, thing we got left is a, is an anniversary. But Perez, Morgan, and Bench can go to the ballpark, and you sure, can't. Sure, they, they go can in, go they, to Goodyear, Florida. They go the in the uniform. clubhouse. They can go to Goodyear. They do Florida and put the uniform on. Absolutely. And tutelize the and tutor the young second baseman, the young first baseman, and a young catcher. Spend a week in spring training. Yeah. And you can't do that. Right. And that bothers me. You know the sad thing about this situation that, and, and I think you're on my side on this one, but. I could go into a, a, a big league clubhouse today. Now, I got 4,256 hits. Okay, I played 24 years and hit over 300. I could start talking about hitting, and guys playing today wouldn't know what the hell I'm talking about. They would say, what? You're doing what? You're not dropping your elbow and getting that elevation where you can hit the ball in the air? They don't know how to hit today. Yeah, it's it's too you, much. You to only struck out again. how many times? You only struck out that many times. Listen, 
You can get a base hit with a man on second and win games just like you can hit a home run and win a game. Oh, sure can. Yep. And you're going to win more games getting base hits with men on second and third. Did the meeting with Manfred go well a year or so ago? Yeah, he's a good guy. I mean, he's, he, he does what he had to do. I think I kind of screwed up when he asked me, do you still gamble? And I said, uh, I do no more illegal gambling. But I do I do illegal gambling. I You know, I bet on sports. I bet on football games. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. Uh, I'm not looking to bet on baseball games and getting information or here or there. I'm not like that. But uh, uh, he heard me out, and uh, he just decided that it wasn't time to do anything for me right now. So uh, I'm, I'm at the point where I know I'm not going to make the Hall of Fame while I'm alive. But I got a son named Pete Rose, and he's got a son named Pete Rose. So I'll write a letter where one of those guys can read it 30, 40 years from oh, now. Oh, really? You know what I mean? So there's always... You're going to write a letter so they have Yeah, it. I'm going to write a, write a letter uh, apologizing everybody I need to apologize to. Uh, you know, you have to understand, Chris, I come up 63. I played against Stan Musial, who was a great player. Okay, he, so he went in the Hall of Fame five years after 63 which would be, what, 68 or 69? Yep. So I've been a part of everybody that's went in the Hall of Fame since 69, either playing with or against. So I know a little bit about what's going on with guys in the Hall of Fame. And if they think there's a bunch of altar boys no, up there, uh, that's, yeah. that's not the truth. Right, and it's just like the Hall of Fame. You mentioned it an hour ago. They have 15 of my artifacts in the oh, Hall of Fame. Oh, that drives me crazy. They can have your artifacts in yeah. there, your hits, your cleats, the, everything, and they can't and, have you have a day. And I, I tell that's you, so hypocritical. I'll tell you, it was 15 years ago because she just passed away recently. Uh, Claire Stevens Ruth, Babe Ruth's daughter. Right. She was up at the, in Cooperstown. I was signing autographs three blocks down from the uh, Hall of Fame. She walked, she was 77. She walked three blocks down the Hall of Fame to say hi to me. Did she really? And tell me that her dad would have been proud of the way I played. And let me tell you something. When I was talking to her, I was, I w I've been in front of federal judges before, okay? I was more nervous talking to Babe Ruth's daughter than anybody else I've ever met in my life. And like I said, I met seven presidents. Babe Ruth, I, I'm sitting here saying, this is Babe Ruth's daughter. She, she can't be. How can you be Babe Ruth's daughter? I and mean, she came a, to visit you. It was amazing to me. Yeah. It was amazing to me. Well, hopefully, it was one of my best days. Well, hopefully one of these days you'll have a couple moments and you deserve it.